live booby trap with your face. Do you know how long it took me to engineer this me 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 mechanism? Yeah. It was a piece of shit anyway. Well, boy, you look surprised. I'm the one who should be. You know, you're the first person I talked to in months. Hell, maybe even weeks. <laughs> That's something, isn't it? Ah, I need to take a break anyway. There's no way I can work when someone who's not wearing the <clears throat> required equipment is around. You can get sick, you know. I use a lot of those cleaning products and a bunch of shit that's not good for your eyes or your nose. You get cancer, you know. I read that in the magazine.
Who the hell are you? Don't you see, dumbass? He's a prisoner. I say we shoot him. Calm down. He's not one of them. Oh yeah? How do you know? I don't, but he hasn't gone for us yet. Look at him, does he look like the others to you? No, he doesn't, but hell. Have you ever seen a crazy dude eating another crazy dude? Fucking vampires. Cut the vampire crap already. He wasn't eating him. He was biting his jugular. It's a primitive reflex to quickly take down your opponent. What about I show you a primitive reflex? Oi, calm down. Why don't you calm down, Terry? You don't get to tell me what to do. Oh yeah? And why is that? One, Junior, I am still Chief of Security. Two, I know this place better than you. Three, I was in the Falklands when you were still wet in the fucking bed. I know this base like the back of my hand, and I'm saying now that if we want to get out of here alive, we've got to work as a team, because we're at the bottom floor of a five-story underground complex that isn't even supposed to exist. Is everyone all right? I'm hearing a commotion over there. What's going on? Nothing, Malcolm. Everything's fine. I made a new friend, possibly. Oh, and he's still alive. Well, the more the merrier. Say hello on my behalf, will you? Right, oh, Malcolm, you stay safe. Malcolm says hello. I think you fucking heard. So, what now, Chief? All right, first off, let's introduce ourselves to the new boy. The mouthy one's Brian, and that's his little brother, Junior. Here's Matthew, Hector, and that's Takio. The computer genius over there is Benjamin. Hello, just call me Ben, will ya? As for the man over the radio, his name's Malcolm. He's also a security guard. He locked himself in the locker room over on the Eastern L wing. Apparently, he's the only survivor there. Yeah, he probably ate all the others. Hey! Just ignore him, Ben. My name's Terence. Call me Terry. We're all security guards here, but I'm the most senior. And the only one that's worked on every single floor in this place. So, what's your name, lad? His name is Jake. Well, Jake, I'm surprised you've lasted this long on your own. Well, now that that's been taken care of, how about we focus on doing something to get out of this bloody place? Yeah, right. I don't know if you guys noticed, but the electricity is not really working well right now. But it's not completely off, either. Yeah, what's wrong with the lights, anyway? Reminds me of a military compound I worked at once. It had various power backup systems. Oh yeah, you mean the MGPS? But they're only testing it. It's not really ready for the market. Not even for the military. What, um, compound was that that you worked on? I don't know. When you work security, you don't ask questions. Do you know anything of what's going on here? That's true, they don't tell us anything. We're just supposed to keep the bad people in, the good people out, and protect all that's in between. So run them through the MGPS. Well, it's, It's very uh... simple. For big facilities... Oh, sorry, Matt. It's all right. Keep going. You know more about this stuff than I do. Right, for a simple generator, the system is one big grid, and the generator fills each of the grid squares with power equally. But when one square needs more power, all the others are equally reduced, which sometimes causes low tension, or even completely cuts it off. So this is when the multi-generator comes in. Instead of creating one big grid, it creates one grid per generator, which fills all the squares the same way. The point is, all the generators work together, and if one square needs more power, only one of the multi-generators will give the missing power. And this generator is usually the biggest, but it's also the most unstable. Unstable how? Well, the reason they were still testing the system is because there's still problems. You see, the basic system works with a series of five generators, four working to create the grids, and the fifth working to fill any greater demand. The problem is, if there's more power required than the fifth generator can provide, the other four try to help, which generally overdrives all the system and causes the fifth generator to crash. So if I get it, if the base wants more power than it can have, the actual generator who gives this extra power just dies? No, it doesn't just die, it reboots, but it needs to be manually activated. If I'm correct, then right now only four generators are working. That's why the lights are weak and the doors to the core are impossible to open. If we could somehow manage to activate this fifth generator, then the base would be like before and we'd be able to hightail it out of here. <laughs> right, so let's do this. Yeah! Well, no, it won't be that easy. First, we need to find out where the generators, um, are. You leave that to me. I know where they are. Where's that? They're underneath us. Under us? I thought we were at the bottom floor, man. What the? This base is bigger than we thought? Yeah, it is. The five floors we all know about are the working base. The floors below are basically sewers. And the source of the drinking water. Uh, hold, hold on, hold on. So, okay, right, okay, so, right, okay. We know the generator's below us, so how do we get there? Do we start digging from here, or what? No, you idiot. There's a proper way in. From where? From the core. 
So the question is, how do we get to the core with the power off? Oh my god, I'm so stupid! Ah! It's so obvious! Would you mind enlightening us? Alright, okay, alright, get this. The system gives power to the entire base right now, the doors included. So if we just lower the power demand, it might actually activate some of the unavailable parts. We can just cut the power to the first floor. Right. How do we do that? Well, from what I know, there's power relays on each floor. Relays? Yeah, you mean the power rooms. Yes, exactly. Okay, there's three power rooms in the south wing and two in the north wing. Um, guys, that means we'll have to go to each block and turn off its power relay. Won't that turn off the lights? All right, that's what we're gonna do. Ben, Terry, you stay here. You're too valuable to be at risk. Brian, you stay here to protect the place. Junior, Hector, Takeo, and the new guy, you're coming with me. We're gonna reset this place. Whoa, hold on. I ain't leaving without my brother. He's not going out there. Okay, Junior, you stay. But the others, let's go. Hold on, the power rooms are locked. I think I have a key around this. Hey, Baldy needs a gun. I suggest you pick up some gear, pal. Wait, you're giving him a gun? We're not even sure we can trust him. I don't think killing us will do him any good. He needs us as much as we need him. Ah, oh, here's the keys. <laughs> yeah, Matthew, this will open the power rooms, and this one will open the ammunition lockers, if you manage to find any. All right, we'll stay in touch by radio. We'll split up into groups of two. Hector, take the new guy. You are going to take care of the south wing. I'll take care of the north wing with Takeo. We only have this radio post and two walkie-talkies. I recommend you hang on to them. Like I said, when you power down the relays, the lights will go out. Except the security lights. So remember to turn on your flashlight and keep an eye out for Malcolm, too. come in. Are you there? Yeah. What was that all about? Well, we Man, saw someone in trouble in the video feed, so Brian and opened the door to help him. He wasn't injured and didn't seem to know what, what was going My on, name so we briefed Alex, him on the situation and we Alex. now have a clap. I hate it so when people call me Junior. Of course, but for that we need to be able to open the core access door. Stop explaining. I already tried. Yes, we know. There's not enough power. That's why Ben here came up with something.